Welcome, it's Jonathan with Bay Area Throwbacks, and I got another jersey today. <clears throat> another game used jersey for the Giants. Um, lately, I haven't really. I'm just kind of saving up more right now, so I'm not really out trying to get too many jerseys or anything. But if I do, really, my only thing I've been really trying to get lately, if I see it and I can get it for a really uh, cheap price, is gamers, uh, players I grew up watching for the Giants. So. Players from that like 2001 to 2004-ish era. If I can find gamers of them, I'm I'm for it pretty much. Besides that, I'm not really trying to buy too much. Um, so I got a relief pitcher, a solid relief pitcher for the Giants uh, throughout those years. He played parts of six seasons with the Giants. Um, altogether, he did play 11 years in the major leagues. Um, like I said, parts of six seasons with the Giants, six seasons. Every other team he played for was just at max one year. So pretty much a giant, oh, you know, when you look at it, about, oh, about half his career. So five and a half years. So like I said, 11, about half. Anyways, um, I grew up watching him. Solid righty who threw, threw gas. He threw hard. Um, threw like high 90s in a time when it, that wasn't the norm. So he was throwing hard. Uh, what else? What else? What else? With the Giants from 99 to... Partway through the season of 2004, and ended uh, his time with the Giants. He had 102 games finished. He wasn't. Uh, he was always like a setup guy for Rob Nen and whoever else was the closer. So, but he ended up finishing 102 games throughout his Giants career, and that is none other than Mr. Felix Rodriguez. So, um. You know, people say sometimes with him about, you know, oh, he couldn't do it in the playoffs or in the World Series in 2 or whatever. But at the end of the day, he had a solid career. Good good career with the Giants as a reliever. It happens, you know. So it is what it is. It wasn't like, I mean, that the team in general, 0-2, they kind of choked down to not even just the players, but just everything. It happens. So it is what it is. Anyways, but this was a player I grew up watching, a reliever I grew up watching, and um, – it was on eBay, a game used jersey of his. It said from 2000, um, but this jersey was 2000 to 2004, so I don't know exactly if they know for sure. It was just 2000 he wore this or whenever, but anyways, somewhere throughout that time. Um, and I put the bid down within the last like 30 seconds or something for up to, I just put max 100, got it for 85 bucks, so. That was something I was willing to spend on a game used jersey of a player I grew up watching. And yeah, even though I have, I literally have three of these same jerseys, just with different players. One of them has the 9-11 uh, patch. Two of them are game used. One is a retail authentic bonds, which is literally the same as the gamers. And then I have two of the 2005 Beyond ones where, um, when they added the gold into the lettering. So Anyways, again, it's nothing too crazy. It's something I already have these jerseys, just a different name and number. But anyways, in case you haven't watched any of my videos with those jerseys, I'm going to do a close-up right now so you can check it out. So, no tagging on the inside. Nothing in there. we got the uh, Russell Athletic tag right here. Jock tag, 100% polyester, size 48. Um, something to the sleeve end. Can't tell. It's been faded, so it's been washed a lot. Got that. Uh, you know, it's just the gray old school um, material. Then we got there the double, got the black over the orange right there. Before they added the gold in the lettering, like I said, which happened in 2005 when the jerseys went from Russell Athletic over to Majestic. Haven't been able to photo match this jersey yet, but. Hopefully I can, it's hard, but we'll see. Um, nothing on the right sleeve. It's got the black, or orange, black, and orange trim. That's about it there. This side, got that, the big old uh, road patch they used to have, which they don't use anymore. This is the, the road patch they used to use. Pretty nice patch right there, Russell Athletic logo. Embroidered. There you go. No um, tagging here. The gamers uh, don't have the tagging here, whereas the retail authentics do for the size. 
You can see the nameplate um, stitching right there. Batterman logo stitching right there. Let's check the back out. Again, it's not too much to see, but you got the Batterman logo, which was added in 2000. So if this is a 2000 jersey, then this would have been the first year this was introduced. Also, we got the orange, black, and orange trim around the collar. Uh, real quick. You will see with the gamers sometimes is that the this would end sometimes before this, so it's kind of interesting. Didn't go all the way, but whatever. My other my uh, other one from 2001 is just like that too. So you got the nameplate here. I've tried to look for spots like this and find pictures, zooming in, but I haven't found anything that to photo match yet. But if I do, I'll post that for sure. So you got the double stitching right there. You got the orange over the, I mean the black over the orange, Rodriguez. And then that number 47, it's a pretty dope number. Same thing, black over orange. There you go. Look at the inside real quick. There's the stitching. You can see black, the orange. There you go. What about the front? There you go, black and orange right there. So there you go. Like I said, not too much. Shown the same jersey before, just with different <laughs> name and numbers. I'm going to throw this on now and show you how it fits. Well, here we go. Size 48. Fits me great. Um, like I said, I, I know something they did with the sleeve in. I don't know if longer or shorter. I can't. It's um, too faded. The, the extra taggings here with the jog tags, so I can't tell. But nice thing about baseball is you can, depending on size and weight, you can pretty much find gamers um, or team issue jerseys that you could literally that fit you fine. Football, they... They wear them, even the big dudes, the jerseys are so tight, even those are small sometimes. Plus, they have weird cut where it's like not really how you're going to want to wear, and they're usually really long. Basketball, obviously, I'm 5'10, so unless you're up there, those jerseys are going to, you know, go down to your feet. So I'm not tall enough to wear any of those those jerseys. Hockey, um, I have one. I have a team issue and a gamer. Pretty big. I mean, I can wear them with a the sweater, but even then, they're still a little big because obviously, those guys are wearing a lot of padding. Baseball is where, you know, the average man can fit his way into a gamer or a team issue jersey. So that's what I like about the baseball. Um, Giants being my favorite sports team in general and the one I have the most nostalgia with, Giants and Niners, but especially the Giants, it is nice to be able to get game these jerseys of players I watched growing up, even if they're not the biggest names. And you can get them for pretty cheap. Like I said, I got this for 85 bucks with shipping and tax with 107 and some change. That's a great price and I can literally it's not just something I'm putting up. I could wear it. Like, this fits me great. So, anyways, that's that. Uh, game use Felix Rodriguez jersey. When I bought it, it said 2000. It could be anywhere from 2000 to 2004. Maybe there's a specific difference between the tag in here and by years. I don't know that much. But, anyways, that's that. It's pretty much it. Everyone have a good day. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And give it a thumbs down if you don't. Subscribe if you're not already, and if you are subscribed, thanks for being here again. I'll see you all next time. Peace.